Hi everyone. So on Saturday I went to Hobby Lobby and I ended up finding some really, really good stuff. So I've been to Hobby Lobby many times since they did the 90% off clearance. So I have no idea where these items came from. So the Spring Shop, see this is not marked with an orange tag anywhere, but it is clearance. So Spring Shop is 90% off and so is Summer. So I saw this over in the clearance section. So this comes out to be $3.99 and it is a toaster. But the thing that I liked was that there is four bagels. So I just have a regular toaster and I just smashed my bagels in there because you know they're too wide. But it ends up working. But I thought, you know what, for $4, let me trade that one out and let me get this one since it actually is meant for bagels. So I'm going to trade out my other toaster and put this one out. And then the next item that I found, I ended up hitting the jackpot on. So I went looking for these when 90% off had started. And I did not find any of these baby yoda little waffle maker so i have no idea where they came from i ended up getting four i have no idea where they came from like i said i i don't know but i got four so i got one for me one for um a subby i'm gonna send to her nephew and then one for my nephew i'm gonna save it for christmas and then i have an extra one just in case so i think this is so cute it actually makes the little baby yoda into the waffle and this one came out to $2.99. Aren't those amazing deals? And then there's what the little waffle maker looks like right there. So it has like the little waffle part and then the little baby Yoda part. So super, super cute. Really happy I found those. So then I went looking for orange glitter is what I really wanted. And um, I had somebody tell me that the Disney jewelry was on clearance. Well, I didn't find any Disney jewelry. And <laughs> I don't know why there was no orange glitter, just like a single sheet. So I'm going to have to look again. But it was 50% off last week on Paper Studio. So I did find this star vellum, which has now gone smash being in the car. So I just thought it was really pretty. I need to make a little lantern for one of my collaboration videos with a company. So I'm going to use this. Hopefully it'll look really nice. And I wasn't sure how many I would need. So I ended up picking up two of those. And like I said, um, double, triple check your clearance. Every time you go, just go to the clearance because you never know what will pop up. I don't remember seeing this one before, so I got this silicone mold for $2.50. And you know what? I completely keep forgetting to buy clay. I had bought some air dry clay last year because I wanted to try to mold and I never got around to doing it. And I must have boxed it away somewhere because I cannot find it right now. So I just need to buy another pack so I can try it out. But this one looks like a little like blanket. So that sort of looks like right there. Just really, really cute. So I cannot wait to see if the air dry clay will work. And I got some scissors because I always need scissors. <laughs> so $1.50 and these were in blue. Really like those. And uh, there was another pair of scissors in here. Here they are. Look at these. Aren't these beautiful? Gold and clear. I'm going to have to hide these from Sonny because he will take them. And those were $2.50. Huh. I'm like, why are these so expensive? If it was $4 and then if it's supposed to be 75% off, that's not the right price. I didn't even pay attention to that when I bought these. This is the right price. This is not the right price. Because how is this one $6 and $1.50 and this one's $4 and $2.50? So I totally missed the mark on that, that I did not pay attention. I wonder what this price is in the back. I wonder if it's off of this price or whatever is back there. Yep. See, look, back there it said... Um, uh, $10 so 75% off would have been the $2.50 so they did not do this correctly according to the tag that was on here of $3.99 so anyways $2.50 I still really like them they're gold they're beautiful and I'm fine with it let's see oh I was looking at um the Christmas stuff when I was there and I did quite find quite a bit 
I don't remember if these were available last year or not. I thought these were new. So there's these little nutcrackers. They are $3 and then half off right now. So $1.50 for those. These I don't remember seeing last year. And these are half off. So these are $3. And I just thought these were really cute. Last year I did some Chunky Charms using these ornaments as like the main focal point, And they came out so stinking cute. So I definitely wanted to do that again. I wish that they had more peppermint instead of just this one little peppermint button right there. So I'm going to see if it's possible to take that off. And then I have to look through my clay pieces and see if I have some smaller ones. Like I would definitely want two. Or I could use rhinestones even. That would be cute too. So yeah, I just don't like the little one. It kind of looks like a little belly button. But then this one's like way up in his chest like a little... I don't know, maybe it's peppermint heart, I don't know, but I don't like those, I'm going to try to take those off, so, um, yeah, I got those, I don't really like the brown of the little house either, I might try to paint that, you know, I'm going to mess with it and see how it goes, uh, let's see, I don't really like the colors of these, but I love the size, so, these are half off for $4, you get 60 pieces, they are one inch snowflakes, let me open these up. So I really like the size. It was the only color that they had. So I didn't want to not get them and then miss out on them in the future. So that's what they look like. I'm guessing they're meant to be a rose gold, but they kind of look brown. So I don't think they're meant to be brown. So yeah, I think it's meant to be a rose gold, but I love the size. I don't know if I can spray paint these maybe. Or use just some regular like acrylic paint. I would have loved, loved these if they were in white. Oh my gosh. I would have bought so many if they were in white. I would have definitely bought two packs. Because like I said, I just love the size that they're small. But maybe they'll be coming out with white. I don't know. You know, so we'll just have to keep checking back on that. But like I said, I didn't want to miss out on that. Because I really love the size of those. And then I got this like clay santa i just thought he was so stinking cute i love that he has glitter in his beard up in his hat it even looks like a little sweater so i thought that was really really cute and he only came out to two dollars which i thought was a really good deal they had a penguin and something else i think but i didn't get those oh my gosh i had seen somebody haul this and i'm sorry i don't remember who it was and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to go get those. I thought this would be so pretty, even if you just cut it open and use it like paper. So yeah, I don't really think I would use it as bags. You get 12 bags, but I just thought this was gorgeous and I needed it. So half off for fall, so $1.50 for those. And I got these candy canes. They were $2. They're cute. They definitely need a bow or something else, you know, especially like on these. And then, you know, this like, I don't understand why it looks like part of a bow like where's the little loopy parts so yeah those need a little bit of work on those but two bucks for those um the back to school is 90 percent off as well so these come out to 19 cents i thought that was a really good deal so there's 36 pieces in there i thought that'd be really cute we definitely want to do some like desert vacation so i thought i would go ahead and pick those up and then I have a crafty friend who likes little cactus, so I'm going to mail her a pack. So I got those because they were so cheap. And then these are little, like, name tags, which I thought were really cute. Just to, you could use this as a bag topper even, or cut the top off and use it as just a little ephemera piece. So half off was $1.50. I'm really thinking some little bag toppers would be really cute. And you, you know, if you have, like, a little, like, um happy fall or something even like a happy halloween would still look really cute on here so yeah i'm gonna try that out as little bag toppers i thought that would be really cute so after hobby lobby i went over to michael's i was looking for um a little bead set that just came out that apparently my store says online that they have but the guy told me that it's probably on the truck because they actually don't have it so I have to check back for that. But I did find the felt on clearance. So these say $5, but they were bringing up a dollar. And then I am told that uh, I saw somebody that was on the East Coast. 
that uh, she found grab boxes today at her Michael's. So today is Monday. Gosh, I don't even know what day it is. So <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but that there's grab boxes. I'm not going to run out personally. I have so much stuff that I don't even know what to do with everything at this point. And I'm still waiting on the guy to finish building my shed. So it's just been kind of a mess and a nightmare over here. So I definitely don't need to be bringing any more stuff in. So I'm going to be good. I'm going to stay home and not go pick up, you know, mystery stuff. So I was happy with getting these at 80% off. So like I said, these are a dollar a piece. They're felt. There's 15 pieces inside. And then the little dollhouse stuff was 80% off. So I think this came out to like 40 cents. What do these ring up as? Uh, yeah, some of this was 40 cents. So 60 cents, 40 cents. You can see right there. So um, there's that little wood piece. I'm going to send it to a subby's niece. Found some little rolling pins. These were the ones that were 40 cents. And these were 60 cents. But these are going to be really cute to use for scrapbooking. So I got those. And then the little beads. I was just curious about how much they were. So when I scanned it, it came out 50 cents. So apparently all these little baggies are on clearance. So let me see. Were they? Yeah, 50 cents down here. So they were 50 cents a piece. So I got quite a bit. I just grabbed the clear and the blacks because I thought those would be really good for Halloween crafting. So for 50 cents, I thought that was really good. So got those. And that's it for my little crafty shopping spree. Um, like I said, if you're interested in Michael's grab bags, call your store. That's what I do. I usually call them and ask them, you know, if they have any clearance or I'm sorry, if they have any grab bags and then they'll tell me yes or no. And then I'll go in off of that. But like I said, this time I'm going to skip out, but I hope you guys can go and get some if that's something you're really interested in. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys had a nice weekend and we'll see you later. Bye guys.